Okay then. Right, this is a. Uh, I need a uh, gate drive transformer. Yeah. Uh, because I want to build in another solid state Tesla circuit. But this one's going to be using more power, and so I'm going to require a gate, trans gate drive transformer. Now I'm going on the three here, and there's three different sizes. We're going bigger, smaller, smaller. And this one is like a yellowy with a blue on the outside, a light green, I should say, not yellow. I don't know why it said yellow, I just, just did. This one's green. And this little one's green. Now, I don't know, you know, what the permeability is, what the, what, how good they are at doing their jobs, these um, particular cores. I know how good these are because I've already tested them. I'm just using my uh, frequency generator there, and of course, I've got the scope so I can see what the output is. So, first of all, I thought this one was going to do well. And the reason why I thought it was going to do well is because I was pretty convinced it was the same type as what I'd used in a in a um, you know like this dual thief type circuit because this does pretty well. Now I have not wound this dual thief type circuit onto any other coil uh, ring. I've only done it onto this, and this seems to be the same, like the green with the blue top, as this one. I'm going to tell you now, this one's done the worst. This is rubbish. And these two have done pretty good. And they've all got 14, 15 turns on them. And they're all, you know, tripler. Wow. Um, and I made it easier because I've got three different colours. I've got blue with a white stripe. And this is the same on all three. Blue and a orange and white stripe. So the orange and white stripe is I'm using as my primary. And I've got two secondaries, yeah? So, I'm going to show you the, the smallest one first. Okay, so hopefully you can see the scope as well as, uh, as, well as the frequency. Uh, as well as the function generator. So I'm going to put the small one first. So like I say, it's, it's dead easy. So we've got the, the primary. And I'm only going to connect up one channel. I'll connect up the other channel because this is supposed to be inverting one channel to the other, isn't it? So... Because uh, you never want the two MOSFETs on at the same time, otherwise, well, it can happen. Uh, so I'm just going to take one now. So I'm just going to put it onto the solid blue. Just to make life easier. And the solid blue here. And that's at, uh, that's at 50. 50 hertz, 50 kilohertz, which is pretty low. Uh, so if I just start whipping that up, I don't want to put my arm right in the way of everything. If I just start whipping this up. Oh, oh, and again, there you go. As we get on, like a hundred, that's that. That's a hundred uh, kilohertz. And as we go up, it's three hundred. And as you can see, look, that's that's not looking too bad at all. Not looking too bad at all. That's seven fifty. Ah, let's go over a meg. So that's like, that's at like thirteen fourteen. Okay, and that's uh, that's all right. That's pretty damn good. Okay, so let's just take a look back down again. I should probably just move that across there, and take it down really quickly, and then let's put on um, then let's put on this one. This is the the one that I thought was going to do the best. Just quickly undo those. That's just one channel. Boom, out of the way. So again. Same colour. Put the code in again because it just makes my life easier. So I'm going to connect to the primary. Uh, connect it to there. Put this one connected to here. Put that away from there. Okay, let's start taking this up. Okay, look. So this is at 500 kilohertz. And then. And it's absolutely terrible, look. If I go low, so that's at 100 kilohertz. Um, that's like 30. Oh, 30, absolutely useless. And as we go up, it just doesn't get any better. 
so the actual core that's at 510 kilohertz so the actual core and the, the actual um, it's rubbish absolute rubbish that is I don't know where that's come from but that's a piece of junk for this and then we got this one it's still on 500 let me just turn it down to uh, there we go 40 just give it the uh, give it the signal don't know which way you can this up because it's alternating. Oh, there we go. And then let's just connect up to the solid blue. And solid blue. Oh, got my fingers. Turn that out. And look at that. Look, that's at 40. 40 kilohertz. So if you go up to 100, then it's even 100. And that's nice. That is pretty spanking really, isn't it? And let's just move that across, go up at 100 kilohertz at a time. 200, 300, 400, five. And as you can see, look, we're at 1.2 now, 1.8. That's, yeah, that's, that, that's two megahertz. So you can quite safely say then that these uh, green ones at least these particular two green ones uh, make decent gate drive transformers in comparison to to this one. This one's absolutely terrible. Okay, all I'm going to do now is connect up another probe and uh, check it if it's being inverted. But that means I've got to flick the phase across on this, and I've just got to figure out how you do that. Okay. Because um, we know that this one was rubbish, so I just wound onto this yellow one as well, just to see what this is like. Because uh, I'm just going through what I've got basically. Cause I think this is probably going to help out quite a few people. So the yellow one again, that's absolute rubbish. That's at 80 kilohertz. And even if I turn it up, it's it's not getting any better. It's not showing to be a square wave at all. That's just a bag of poo. So. Um, this is like white and sort of creamy underneath and yellow on the outside no good no good i am not tried one of these I'm going to give it a go though why not it's only 14, 15 turns and I've already made the wire I'm going to assume that this is I mean this is just combo choke anyway but then so is this, but look, this is on green again, so I'm going to unwind this. Reluctantly, I'm going to unwind it, and I'm just going to see if that's... Uh, well, I fully feel it's going to be exactly the same as this this one here. So I'm pretty sure they're about the same, and it's the same sort of... This is slightly different colour green, but... But we'll see. That's all we can do, isn't it? Let's try and see. Uh, but that, but that's not what you want. That's not good to anybody. No good to anybody. And it's not inverting. I just noticed. Hmm. Okay. The others do, by the way. When I connect up the others, the same as what I've done here, they invert. Uh, which is what you want because you don't want, like I said earlier, you don't want two MOSFETs on at the same time. So here I've used one of these black um, out of power supplies. I'm going to assume that this possibly, oh it's got some markings on that. Possibly it could be the same. I'm going to give it a go anyway. Uh, it just only takes five minutes, doesn't it? But that's on uh, that's on 30 kilohertz. As we got the frequency. I'm just going to turn that out of scale. So you go up. It's on 170 now. And although it is looking a bit better, that's now 340, 370, 450. We keep going up. We'll probably see with this. Well, it's happiest with its frequencies, so that's one megahertz. 
Okay. This is two megahertz. Just getting there a bit. Though. That doesn't look too bad at all, does it? That's two megahertz. That's two and a half. Uh, three megahertz. In oh, fact, I'm going to switch it to hundreds. Four, five, six. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, far out of where we want to be, so that's no good at all. So that's no good. Okay, so again, with the green one again, look, uh, 40, 40 kilohertz. And that's not too bad at all. Let's get rid of that. That's not too bad at all. I can't flip that light on. But if I start going up now, I'm gonna go up. Uh, I'm gonna go up to 100 kilohertz first. There you go. There's 100 kilohertz. And I'm gonna start going up 100 kilohertz at a time. So let's just make that a little bit bigger. 200 kilohertz. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one megahertz. So as you can see, that's uh, that's actually pretty damn good. One point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's two two megahertz. Not bad at all. But they do need to be inverted against each other. Um, and just check uh, my channel. So I could cheat and invert it like that, but. So so that's a good one. So that's another good one. Let's say that's at uh, that's at two two megahertz. So we can keep going up. That's uh, three megahertz. Let's just go in again. Oh, look at that look. Of course, it can't. We can't do it forever. Well, that's at seven megahertz. <laughs> but we don't really need that. Up there. There we go. Okay, that's uh, one megahertz. So yeah, so it's the green ones. So all three of these green ones have uh, success. All three, and the other, the other ones are, are no good at all. No good at all. Tried that. No, we didn't try that one. We tried that one. This one. This one. And the green ones. So it seems like no matter what, no matter if it's big or small, on the green ones, they all work as well as each other. Hmm. There we go, so I know what I'm going to be using for my gate drive transformers. And it certainly won't be these. Yeah. No, that's pretty much the same as that, that was, that was rubbish. I was just wondering what that would be like. That's good for a choke. I'm sure these would be good for chokes as well, but that does work all right. Okay, that's that then. Bye.